here on the Gospel Drive Online is a testimony that will transform your life. Please, let's go get it. My whole life revolved around getting high and then recovering and then getting high and then uh, being with whatever woman I was involved with at the time. Jessica Gruenwald spent much of her life not knowing who she was. She grew up in a rural area of Fort Worth, Texas. While it was a stable home, Jessica never felt a strong connection to the woman she called mom. It made me feel um, empty, lost, confused about who I was as a girl, what that meant, what role I play. It wasn't until years later Jessica would explore those feelings. She was 14 when the couple who'd been raising her told her they were her grandparents and had adopted her when she was six months old. Her biological parents were drug addicts who couldn't take care of her. I felt betrayal. I felt rejection. So that really stirred up in me this craving to seek the love and attention of a woman and that I would be the one to figure that out for myself. That's exactly what Jessica did. This was what I had been searching for my whole life. Um, contact, physical touch, the feelings of being desired and wanted. Jessica also started abusing prescription drugs, drinking alcohol, staying out all night, and skipping school. Eventually, she was kicked out of both her home and her high school. By the time she was 18, Jessica was working as a stripper, where she was introduced to meth. The first time that I tried meth, it stole my soul. It um, owned me from the second I inhaled it. Jessica would spend the next 15 years caught in a revolving door of strip clubs, relationships with women, and meth addiction. By 28, she had overdosed three times, but even then, she couldn't stop. No, I couldn't have imagined my life without drugs. I couldn't have imagined being a normal person, um, having a normal life. That mindset would begin to change. It was after Jessica got out of the hospital following her fourth overdose. Seemingly out of nowhere, I just had started having thoughts of Christ. I was intrigued with the person of Christ. So she started reading the Bible, especially the Psalms. Only then did she begin to see she could be free from the physical and emotional torment she endured. When I would read David's words, he would cry out to God, and at the end, he would say, but you're my deliverer, <laughs> you know? And I just wanted that. I wanted God to save me. I wanted to feel love, and God was showing me that. Still, Jessica would spend the next two years torn between a loving God and an unrelenting need for drugs and acceptance from women. Then, one morning in 2010, Jessica was getting ready to leave the house to get her next fix when something she heard on the TV stopped her. The 700 Club was on, and a woman was sharing the story about how God freed her from her addiction. I just started crying out to God saying like, I really wanna go get high and I'm gonna go get high. And I don't know how to tell myself no in this moment, but I want you to know that I wanna serve you and I wanna know you. She says it was then the words of Pat Robertson compelled her to listen. And this man comes on the TV and he says, stop, there's a way out of your sin and God wants to help you. He hears you and he wants to offer you forgiveness. And God says to you, if you'll just come to me, I died for your sins. I paid the price. And if you'll bring all that garbage to me, I'll clean it up and make you white as snow. Would you like that? And then he said to say the prayer of salvation with me. And so as I was saying the prayer of salvation and I was receiving Christ, fully receiving Christ, I, I felt what you could call liquid love come over me. And it just started the at the top of my head and went down my body. And it was as if he was burning away the desires to even want to use drugs. And I just received Christ in that moment. I could have never guessed that such peace could come into my heart in that moment, knowing that 
I could get to know God through this forgiveness. Jessica soon found a church where she started counseling with the pastor who was female. With God's help, she overcame her addiction, stopped pursuing women, and was able to forgive her parents and grandparents. She also found her identity as a woman and a child of God. I would never consider, ever consider being in a gay relationship ever again. That door is completely shut. In 2012, Jessica married Bernie and is studying for a degree in ministry. She's also reunited with her biological mom. Jessica tells everyone, no matter how far you've gone, Jesus is able to save you so you can walk in your God identity. When I look in the mirror, I see a woman of God, an accepted, loved, uh, seen person in this world. God is absolutely able to save, and he is full of compassion and mercy, and his desire is for you to know the truth, and that is in Christ. Certainly, the truth is in Christ. And that reminds you of that song, Lord of Mercy and Compassion, look with the pity upon me. If you are watching, you're listening to us right now, you'll notice that this is the doing of the Lord and she just surrendered, okay? God has a way of ministering to you as you're connected right now, the Lord is ministering to you. And I would always quickly say, make sure that you consume sanctified content. You will never know. The Lord uses all these platforms to minister to you every time and to wonder that it was a TV show that just got her saved. And with all the negative addictions, it was broken just by power of that transmission through prayer. And you notice that prayer has no distance. It came through the television set, as it were, to hit her. And all the addictions, as it were, just sort of uh, flushed out of his system. And that's what God can do. He picks up the broken, the messed up. He picks up the, if you like, uh, the destroyed. And then he rebuilds you. You just have to surrender to him. Say, Lord, I need you. You notice all the vices she was involved with when she gave her heart to Jesus. Look at somebody who had actually overdosed four times, almost dying. And see what God would do. Look at the pictures, the before and the after. Indeed, when God picks you, when you're given the chance to be in your life, he beautifies your life. Beloved, you're not here by accident or by chance. The Lord brought you here. And let me ask you, are you born again? Do you know Jesus? Does he live in your heart? If your answer is no, well, I say yes, this is the moment for you. Just as Jessica got her redemption through the CBN 700 Club TV show, you are also here. And I want you to know that Jesus loves you just the way you are. Yeah, you've messed up. Yes, he loves you just the way you are. You've gone far. You've done so many bad things. He loves you. He says, come just as you are. He's the one who will help you and wash your sins away. This moment, will you surrender to him? It's a prayer away, a simple prayer from your heart to God. Say after me, say, dear father, I've heard your word today. And I know you are the one who sent Jesus to die for my salvation. Jesus, thank you for obeying your father to do this for me. This moment, I cannot save myself. I know I'm a sinner and I need help. And so I surrender unto you right now. Come into my heart, Jesus. Be my personal Lord and Savior. Lead me and I will follow you for the rest of my day. In Jesus' name, and we say amen. I go ahead to pray for you. Anything that's holding you from pursuing the purpose that God has for your life, I declare bounding change. You're set free. You're made whole. You're delivered. In Jesus' name, you will testify to the goodness of the Lord. Find the Bible, believe in church to attend. Get yourself a Bible, study it. Listen to Christocentric Station. We are online radio station, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Go to our website, www.christocentric.com. Click on the first button you see that has to do it, becoming born again getting to know Christ. We have so much content there for you. I'm excited to welcome you to this wonderful family. Hey, what a joy. Reach us on phone too if you don't mind. Find us across social media and let's be friends. Let's be a family. The WhatsApp line is also activated. 0551 300 317 0551 300 317. Recommend this station to friends and family. Welcome to the kingdom. God bless you and yes, Glory, hallelujah. You say, Amen.